Okay, for this go, I'm now on page 64 of the packet. Go ahead and put your name, but notice this is like a completely blank page. I don't even know if they meant to do this or what. But so obviously page 65, if you go down, here's where the actual problems start. So just like you just practiced in the retrieval, they want us to match functions A through G with an equivalent function in 1 through 7. So you're just matching here. So for example, if I look over here at this explicit, see how it's a function that begins at 5 and is multiplying by 2? So I'm looking for an explicit, uh, sorry, for a scenario on the left that goes with it. And so check out how this explicit also is a time 0, minus 0 over there. So if I look down at these options, do you see how here we begin at 0, 5, and then it's a function that's multiplying by 2? So E would match with number 1. So we're going to put a little number 1 in for E. And so pause the video right now, now that you see that we're just trying to match these things by the way we used this one, so cross it out. And then go ahead and see if you can match up the rest and then check your answers. And so A, okay, hang on, guys. Yeah, that's E. All right, so looking at the next one, do you see how this right here has these points A, B, C, and D, where it starts up at 5 and is going down 2 over 1, down 1, 2, 3, 4, over 2? So this also has a slope of negative 2, and it's beginning at 5. So this one is a quadratic, not linear. This one says we put 7,000 in. This one says area, base times height. And here we've got one that might work. This one says f of 0 equals 5, and f of n equals f of n minus 1 minus 2. So there's our matching for number 2. And now we've used it, so cross it out. For this next one, when we're increasing by a 2n, hint, when I see a linear rate of change, we know that that's a quadratic. So looking at all these pictures, which one represents a quadratic? You got it. There's my parabola. So B is going to match with number 3. Cross it out because we used it. Next, we've got a linear function. Look how number 4 and number 2 look so similar. So what's the difference between these? Since this one is continuous, or connected. Did you know that number 4 goes with A, the continuous function? And the other one went with the sequence because this one is discrete or dots. So the function is continuous, the sequence, the recursive, is discrete. So those are literally the same function. It's just that one is dots and one is connected. Okay, finally, um, y equal or y plus x equals zero. If I move the x over, this would be equal to y equals negative x. And so it looks like they might. Perfect. So check this out. Whatever x is, y is the opposite. Whatever x is, y is the opposite, and so on and so forth. So there's my y equals negative x. Uh, next is the area of triangles, x minus 1 and x plus 3. And then finally, it's the one with the 7,000. So if you go, okay, this one has a 7,000, so that's got to go with C, putting 7,000 in a savings account that pays 3% interest compounded annually. That's what would, goes with 7. And that just leaves us number 6 to go here. And so we can have a conversation in class on how does that match, but by process of elimination, this guy must go with this guy. The only other option would be that this x minus 1 and this x plus 3 could go with this graph up here, number 6. So look at that letter B. If that's 6, then that opens us back up to number 3. And guess what? Number 3 could represent the area of these triangles. And so let's talk in class about how 
would we know the difference between these two? Because it's got kind of a couple of topics here that maybe we haven't gone over. So I do want to do that in person. But so B and D, we're trying to decide between three and six and what makes those work. Okay, that's your go for today. How'd you do?